Hello, this is Michael Grant with Applied CAX, and I'm going to run through um, what it means when you get this error with an uh, object containing geometry that is not in the current reference set. So I'm going to use the uh, out-of-the-box example. So there's this uh, tab here, Manufacturing Machine Samples. If you don't see it, you can right-click over here and turn on the uh, ribbon uh, the navigator for samples and I'm going to use the sim 08 uh, example so the out of the box <clears throat> um, uses uh, the, the recommended workflow which is to uh, bring your which is to wavelength uh, a copy of your body from the assembly so right now uh, this part that's in my assembly is being wavelength in so this part uh, with the recommended workflow could be hidden and then it's a local copy an associative copy uh, it's just a, a linked body so it brings in a, a local copy and if, if you run with this workflow, you won't see this message because it's local and not uh, being selected from the assembly. So I'm going to show kind of how to reverse this um, so that I can uh, replicate, you know, when it's coming from the assembly. So I'm going to undo the fact that this is using the uh, local body. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the workpiece in manufacturing specify part and remove that part and then I'm going to say okay so right now no part is selected and then I'm going to hide this so I don't accidentally select it I'm going to show the assembly part and just for clar uh, clarity I'm going to hide the blank so now all I can see is the part at the assembly level which is a component and so then I'll go back to um, the workpiece in manufacturing and select this part or component from the assembly. And then um, the error has to do with a when, when a face is selected um, from this component in the assembly and then that um, component reference set is hidden. So I'm going to uh, double click the uh, facing top operation from the geometry view since I'm already on the geometry view. I'm going to specify cut area floor. Now the old uh, selection was a face from that local linked body so I'm going to hit X and reselect this face. So now that uh, face is also coming from the uh, component in the assembly. So if I go back to the assembly navigator um, you can see that part is showing, but there are reference sets. And if you need to know more about reference sets, I would um, go into your help documentation and then search for reference sets. It's a way of um, having visual representations similar to a layer, but maybe a little more robust than a layer because it doesn't matter what layer you're showing. It's going to force um, the showing of, well, if you had all layers on, it's going to show uh, what you have on your reference set. So in this case, there's model, entire part, and empty. I'm going to go ahead and go to empty because then it's hidden. can't be shown, not even if you try. And so now I'm definitely going to get that error if I go into, if I just click on this operation. So now um, it's telling me that, uh, you know, this, this face is hidden that I'm referencing. So in order to undo that error, I'm going to have to go back to my part and say model um, so that, um, again, now I can go into this operation and even see the face that's selected. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Um, and uh, again, you can always go into uh, help documentation and then reference set and uh, you'll want to actually go all documents because uh, it'll be under um, modeling and when I went into help uh, I had the manufacturing environment loaded so it defaulted to uh, 
the manufacturing portion of the health documentation. And you can see that here. So right now I'm under 2206 series and assemblies. If I go back to where we were, we were under 2206 series and general. So I could also just go back one level um, and then search reference set without having to set the reset the filter. All right, thank you very much.